Hi, good evening, good evening, good evening. My name is Robin Dalko. Uh, welcome, welcome to today. It's the uh, 22nd of uh, December 2017. I want to share with you uh, create the opportunities that you want create the opportunities that you want I remember there was a time I happened to be in another country and uh, I was working I was in school and I was working at the same time. And when uh, during the break time, um, it was a mini job actually. There was this gen uh, there was this man who asked me where I was from, and I said I was from Ghana. And then the man said, "Ah, oh, you're very happy to be here. You're very lucky to have been in this country." And I told him, uh, why would you want to say that? He said, ah, well, yes, everything is here. There are a lot of opportunities here. And then I look at him and I said, I'm only happy to be here because I am here. It's not because of this country. And then he looked at me. He didn't say anything. And then <laughs> he took off. We usually uh, hear of people saying, oh, there are a lot of opportunities in this country. If you go there, uh, there are a lot of opportunities in this. And then there some other people say that, ah, there is no opportunity in this country for the youth. You know. And when they say opportunities, it means that um, maybe if you need a job, you don't have to hustle so much to get a job, you know. If you want to work in a factory, you don't have to hustle so much to get a factory work. If you want to work in a construction sector or construction site, you don't have to worry that much to get it. If you want to work on a farm, uh, you will get a, a work to do. And so for a lot of people, that is what they call uh, opportunities. I, I don't see opportunities as that. I see opportunities as something that has to be linked to your very existence. It's only an opportunity when it's bringing that which is in your heart out. That's what I call opportunity. Even if it appears to be tough from the beginning, it's something that you know that when you are doing it, it's in your heart. It's your heart out. Your, your, it's something that is bringing the best in you. It, uh, something that is uh, linked to your very existence. That's the only thing that I call opportunity. And so um, what you call opportunity is important because in this life, there are a lot of terms. There are a lot of ideologies that have been pushed on people. And some people... Or a lot of people seem to buy those, I'll call them folk tales or, or ideologies that we buy from a lot of people. But I think when you talk of opportunities, to be alive is safe. To be alive is safe. Is, is some kind of opportunity. You know, to at least once again have a chance to, to give a shot as to the, the contribution that you can make in this world. You know something that you can you can do to impact life in this world so the, your very existence the fact that you got up this morning itself is an opportunity the fact that you are alive itself is, is an opportunity for you to prove that you are also a human being you can contribute something to this life and if you're looking for the opportunity I believe that the opportunity is really in you than outside you that is how i see the opportunity because if the opportunity is not in me then i cannot create it if the opportunity is in the other person 
if the opportunity is in the other country if the opportunity is in in somebody else then i i feel like i'm not empowered to create my own opportunity to create my own life to create my own value and i don't think that's how uh, the world was made i think that the world was made with people coming into this life uh, fully equipped to create the life that they want so you will need proper information to understand that you are the one to create the opportunity uh, that you want you know and this you know some 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 statements can keep people in a in a media position for for a very long time for instance oh that land is a land of opportunity <laughs> <laughs> you know that land is a land of opportunity and so people believe in that i think that you are the land that is uh, of opportunities you know you, you 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 the person that you are you are that opportunity that you are looking for so if you settle that then you see that um, it's really in your power to create that life that you want you know it is an opportunity to also come from a certain country like ours it's an opportunity to be here you know so it's an opportunity to even have the parents that you have, the, the country that you come from, the village that you come from. It's, a, it's an opportunity. You only will see it as a disadvantage when you don't have enough knowledge, when you don't have enough information. What you call opportunity is really living the life that you so desire you ever wanted to live. You know, and opportunity is carved in, in, um, in service. It's carved in work. It's carving in responsibilities. Opportunity is in uh, challenges, you know, that come in life. And so if your thinking is that opportunity is, is, is the comfort or the comfortable position, opportunity is in um, the places that they, there are no problems, opportunity is in where you are just there and everybody is serving you and then you have arrived, then, then when you even see opportunities, you will not see them. Because your your understanding of it is that it, there is no pain in it, there is no challenge, there is no challenges, you know, and and therefore um, that that is somewhere that somebody has ever made for you, and so when when you see it as an opportunity, you say I have been looking for this position, that position that you've been looking for, you can create it if you understand that is in your power to create every opportunity that you see. Uh, in your life, you know, and and people who have ever succeeded are always taking advantage of whatever is around them. They always take advantage of whatever is around them. Why? Because they know that if they they are able to do a lot at this stage, then the next phase uh, will come, because the next level is is depending on the current level. You know, so if you feel that your opportunity will come because somebody somewhere from nowhere will come and open big door for you, uh, that is an illusion. That is an illusion because every state that we are, we have every power, every will, every tool to create that opportunity that will take us to the next level. You know, so uh, that thinking is important. The life that you want. That, that life that you want to create, that life that you want to create, you should as accept or you should understand that is in your power. It's not in another person's power. You know, you 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 have to set up a plan to to you know uh, to to set up a plan. Pick a book, write something for the next five years. What is it that you want to do? Write something for the next year. What is it that you want to do? Look around you. You know and and come up with some kind of strategy god that itself is how you create that opportunity that you're looking for you know you write something you have a book a bound book or a diary and you write for the next 12 months this is what i want to do based on the level that i am today you know so for instance let's say you don't have a job now if you if you want to create that thing that you call job then it becomes that opportunity for you now how do you create that I don't have a job, I'm looking for a job. So if the horror of 2017, I only went to three companies. Okay, so 2018, I don't have, uh, 2017, I don't have this job. 2018, I want, to, I want to get this job. 
So if I went to just two or three companies in 2017, I didn't get a job. How about write an application to say 100 companies? And so you, you pick a book and say that, okay, because I want to find a job, I want to go to as many as 100 companies. I write them down. That act is of you creating that opportunity, which you call job. You know, because if you just if you just throw out one CV out, you know, you just give out one CV, and that person that you gave to for, forgets it, <laughs> that's the end. And so you go and sit down and say that, oh, I sent a lot of CVs and nobody. How about if you increase the volume? If you increase the numbers? If you say that, okay, I want to write about 100 companies. And I want to go from this company to this company talking to people. I want to get a job. That is how you create opportunity. So you set goals. You set goals. If you want to create that opportunity for whatever life that you set for yourself, you write them. And more purpose strategy how you're going to achieve them. More purpose strategy as to how you're going to do it every week, every day. That is how what we call opportunities are created. So let's say in 2018 you want to start a business. Okay, so what what business you are, are you going to do? You, you pick a book. What business am I going to do? Looking at my skill, looking, looking at my expertise, look at, looking at what I know, looking at where I live. What kind of business can I start in 2018? No, we are talking of creating opportunities for yourself because that opportunity, nobody will create it for you. So you pick a book and say, okay, I'm going to call my business um, K&G uh, uh, Company Limited. You know, that's the first step. And I'm going to sell, say, I'm going to sell sand. You know, I'm going to sell sand to people who are building. That is a business idea that you have written down. Okay, you have your company name. Uh, would, you, would you want to re register the company now? Or you would want to hold on and start the process? That's, that's another choice. Who do you think uh, can help you uh, with the business? You know, you are creating this opportunity. So you start writing these things down because you want to create a company. So everything that you want to create for yourself, you have to have a strategy. Strategy for it. Strategy. Two-month strategy. One-year strategy. Two-year strategy. That is how you create opportunities. You know, so it's not a matter of um, that opportunity somewhere, somebody, I wish somebody would just help me to, that person may never come until you start to do something where you are, you know. So don't wait for what they call opportunity. You create opportunities. And opportunities come in the form of problems, in the form of challenges, in the form of responsibilities, in the form of service, in the form of work. So if you really believe that you have an opportunity, you will see these things. And when you see these things, you start to do them. It means that you understand what an opportunity is, you know. But when you see responsibilities, when you see work, when you see service, when you see uh, getting somewhere as a bedding, then you cannot create opportunity. Then it means that you think opportunity is devoid of, of pain. Opportunity is devoid of uh, hustle. You know, opportunity is devoid of um, 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 going to the next step. So if you are going to create that opportunity, understand that that opportunity will be created by you. And it's not in that other person uh, who you are. So, you know, that person in your mind who you think should come in and, and make your life easy for you. No, that person that you're, you're waiting for is you. Because it will only take you to create that life you want, that thing that you call opportunity. And then you should understand that opportunities come in a form of work. And all of us, everywhere we no matter the, the, the environment that we are, there is always an opportunity around us that can link to uh, a, a higher level of responsibilities that can link to a higher level of uh, um, of what you call opportunities you know opportunities um, um, are created or are seen in the mind opportunities are seen in the mind that's why you can get to any environment and you see that somebody sees so many things and the other person only sees uh, very little because it's how much your mind is trained 
which will decide which opportunities opportunities that you see you know so uh, the first element in trying to create uh, the opportunities that uh, you want is uh, from the mind the mindset the psyche that you have about life in general about yourself about the environment that you are about what you even call opportunities you know because you see the life or you see life if you have trained your mind you see life from the point of of responsibilities or from the point of of uh, service from the point of being uh, ready to take on the next challenge you know so it's a mind it's a mind thinking or it's a mindset if if you have that mind uh, to understand that that opportunity I don't have to wait for another person to give it to me and I have to create it myself and this opportunity will come in the form of work in the form of challenges in the form of responsibility in the form of a uh, 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 what should I say in the form of you trying to do more going beyond the, the zone that you're comfortable then you understand what they call opportunities you know so then you are not going to beg uh, or waiting for somebody to come and open that door for you before you you think that you have an opportunity so opportunity is, is really responsibilities and it, it 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 is seen by how you have trained your mind it is seen by how you understand life it is seen by how you understand the world around you you know so uh, some people for instance if they are in our country the only thing that they will see are the things that don't work and they see those things they complain about them they say a lot about them but they never see themselves as the ones who are ready to take a step to correct something you know so some something is in the country which bothers you so much and you don't see it as an opportunity to make a mark with your life why because you were trained to just see the problems and just talk about them and possibly uh, <laughs> just write something somewhere and say all the things that get you mad in this country. You so uh, you can complain about everything. But those things that you are complaining about, really, the same things are the opportunities that you've been looking for. You know, because what gets your attention that you, you are so angry at may not be the other person's uh, problem at all. You know, so the things that you see that are so much, you, they get you uh, in anger are the very things that have been carved uh, as opportunities for you as a person you know so the mind the mind the way you interpret things the way you see issues is how you will see opportunities you know so if you believe that your opportunity is uh, for instance going to live in uh, England and therefore if you're here there is no opportunity here that then closes your mind to any possibility of you trying to do anything with your life here you know, because you think that until you are in England, there is no opportunity for you. And then you get to England and you see that <laughs> you are the same person who, has, who, has, who is in England now. And so you eat the same problems, you will see them. And you, when you continue to see the same problems, because you did not create that opportunity, it will be the only ones that the people have created for you. So it will be the factory work, it will be the bank work, it will be, and then you get in there, you start to complain. Because the opportunities that will get you to the next level, the opportunity that will bring the best out of you, are the opportunities that you have sat down uh, to create. And they are, the they are the opportunities that you see they are locked up in problems, in challenges, in troubles. You know, Because so when troubles get your attention, when problems get your attention, it means that you are getting towards uh, creating opportunities for yourself. Because they always come in the form of challenges, in the form of challenges, always. So, uh, you create those opportunities by serving diligently with your passion and with your gift. You know, those are, that is how an opportunity that will bring the best out of you is created. And so, it goes beyond just thinking that when I go to, uh, uh, when I go to China, then I will be successful. When I go to India, then I will be successful. No, we are talking of the one that you create with your passion diligently. And with the gift around you and in and if you have that then wherever you are you see opportunities because wherever you are your passion is with you wherever you are your gift are with you and that's why you create and you create those with diligence so when you see a man who has tuned his mind to see opportunities all the time they are always active in trying to do something with their life they are not um they are not the ones complaining 
of how tough it is for anywhere at anywhere at their environment at their country in their in their company in their region no because the, the opportunities are seen with the mind that's why you can go to a very developed country and you should see people who are very unsuccessful and the same country a lot of people are also very successful why because it's the mind thing it's the mind thing so uh, opportunities are everywhere that human beings are opportunities are everywhere that uh, uh, problems are opportunities are everywhere you show up you know so sometimes you meet friends you meet family people and they're saying that oh when i went to that country i saw a lot of opportunities i me <laughs> i don't believe them you saw jobs <laughs> that you could do for salary <laughs> And for livelihood and for livelihood uh, that could be termed as an opportunity for you that's fine but I am not looking at that as an opportunity I'm at what I call opportunity is that which links to your passion which links to your 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 mission which links to your purpose your destiny those are the things that are called opportunities and they are linked to the problem as a, as a pair the problems that you can see with your eyes you know so people who identify opportunities are people who are always active who are active so so people who see they're very active in thinking they are very active and they're very active in trying to find the next thing sorry my network is, is sorry 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 <laughs> my network is not good today so um so what we are saying is that opportunities are not outside you they are they are with you you know so if the, the your understanding of what we call opportunity is is the deciding factor as to if you are going to achieve your aims if you are going to achieve your goals if you're going to achieve the things that you set for yourself you know and it will call for courage to pursue opportunity it will call for uh, persistence to create the opportunities that you want, you know. And don't deceive yourself to just say that me, I want just a little life for myself. No, people are waiting for you. And the eyes that you have to see the opportunities will create value uh, for yourself and for, uh, 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 for people and for lives that you will change, you know. So uh, opportunities are not... Uh, so... Oh, oh, so, so opportunities are not the ones just you do to get livelihood. They are beyond that, you know. And life itself is an opportunity for all of us, you know, because we came equipped, we came with talent, we came with gifts, you know. And and wherever land that you are, uh, you are that land of opportunities. Accept that. There are a lot of things that you can easily change in your favor to make you strong than to make you weak. I am not of that thinking that you interpret things uh, to your to your weakness. I am of that mind that you interpret things, even the, the most uh, uh, bizarre situations, you interpret them uh, for your favor, for your uh, in your benefit, you know. You, you can always look at any situation, no matter how bizarre they are, and extract the good ones in them. And, and use them for your benefit. And that's how you see opportunities. That's how you create opportunities. You see difficult uh, moments, difficult times, dif difficult life issues, and you sit down and look at the ones that you can use uh, to better your life, to lift yourself to the next stage. And that is how you see opportunities. So it's a, it's a mind training. Opportunities is mind training. And it's a play of ways. You know, it's a play of ways. You should, you should, you should, you should know that you having been alive this while means that you are indeed in a position to create the life that you want so uh, uh being here for instance in our country is an opportunity for me you know and so i'm not waiting for another person to open the door for me i'm not i'm not i'm not crying and begging him to help me no i create the life that i want and that's the perception you create the life that you want and if you have that perception that you are not you're not sorry to be alive you're not worried you're not you're not disturbed 
you know because you know that you have the tools that uh, you need to create anything that you want so whatever goals that you set for yourself have a plan for it structure it write down the goals you know uh, for instance when the year was uh, last 2016 you know they were <laughs> people who have all kind of plans for the 2016 they write them down but then they don't have uh, the strategy it's not just about writing it down it's also about breaking it down to see what your part is because whatever goal you set itself is a responsibility what is it that you are going to do yourself you know what you are doing yourself is what is going to make that goal uh, 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 realize what skill are you going to do to get that goal realized and that is how opportunities are created opportunities are, opportunities are created because you want to create them you want to create them and so it, it really does not even matter where you live what matters is that your understanding of what you call opportunities. I had some, some I had friends who thought that unless they move to uh, a very wealthy country, their life is 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 the step. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. But I think that if you really sit down to look within and look at what you can do, you can do from where you are, and stop complaining, you can you can you will shock yourself as to what you can do with your life. You know as what you can do with your life and so things that stop people from creating opportunities uh, for themselves and for the society is because they believe the opportunities are outside them it's outside the environment it's outside your country it's outside their family it's outside everything that they know and they also think that somebody else has the key to that uh, to those opportunities you know and so if you have this kind of thinking then you are always the victim you always believe that you are disadvantaged and you cannot create opportunities if you believe that you are disadvantaged you know so those who make you memo uh, always complaining always uh, crying always being uh, feeling like you're a weak person why because of the way you think opportunity is but the moment you think that opportunities you are the one responsible to create them you are the one responsible to responsible to create the life that you want the business that you want the the, the organization that you want to establish is you and that uh, you have to develop yourself you have to develop a plan to realize those things the moment you get to understand those you see that you're you're fine and those will not deny the problems that uh, your environment may have but the problems will not kill your vision because you are tough you know, because you think of issues, you think of problems as the opportunities. And so the more the problems are, the more the opportunities that you will see. You know, the more the problems are, the more the opportunities that you will see. And that's why people who get ahead in life are the ones who are solving challenges, who are solving problems, who are providing solutions all the time. You know, those are the ones who get ahead. It's not those who are enjoying the problems that people solve. So that's why uh, <laughs> countries that are only consuming the solutions of others are the ones at the bottom. Why? Because nobody pays you for enjoying what somebody created. You pay the one who solved the problem, the one who put, brought the, the company, the one who brought the product, the one who made it the, the better service. You know, so it's a strategy. So um, you have to have a strategy, a proper understanding of what they call opportunities because opportunities will always come in a form of trouble. So the more troubles that you have, the more opportunities you have. It's as, uh, it's as simple as that. And so when you run away from troubles, really what you're doing is that you're running away from that which can change your destiny, that which can change your life. And in people run away from challenges and from troubles because they think they are not equipped uh, to handle them. And so the other understanding is that you should know that you have what it takes to confront problems and solve them and overcome them. You know, And so... Uh, business uh, for instance starting and doing it you know having a plan when do you want to uh, start the business what do you want to do in where it will be do you want to start the business or start doing the business in your house or you want to go and rent you know all those getting proper understanding of all those one way or the other you are starting to solve that problem of the business that you are starting stage by stage you know stage by stage level by level and that's how you break things down and so opportunities come in the form of problems and your understanding of uh, how to confront problems will show you what opportunities that you can create for yourself 
you know so for instance nobody you, if you want to become the president you have created a problem for yourself you do create a lot of enemies you know and then you have to handle all, the, all these people if they give you ministerial position that's a problem that they have created for you you know so you'll be effective there if you understand that those problems that are coming at you are really opportunities for you to prove that you can handle that position you know so that is how uh, opportunities uh, are created they are created but you believing that you have what it takes to create your own opportunity you have what it takes to develop the life that you want you have what it takes to develop that business that you want to create to establish that company that you want to establish you have what it takes to establish that organization that and the things that get your attention the problems that get your attention don't just complain them just don't just complain about them and put them down because really if you complain and complain and just put them somewhere it means that it's the opportunities that you are putting them off you know and so uh, uh, you can't resolve that the problems that you see are about people about the community are really the opportunities that you can create uh, uh, for yourself you know and 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 understand that is a is a is a mind game it's a mind game it's a mind game if you see problems and run away and you think that you're going for opportunities in your life they will still come in a form of challenges you know so at your workplace if you want to do more and you want to if you're ambitious and you want to do more then you go for where the problem is and when everybody's running away you run into the problems and that's if you're running into the problems and solving them and solving them that's how you are creating uh, access you are creating area you are creating uh, space for yourself that's why you get forward in life that's why you get forward in life and it's a resolve you know you have to resolve that this this my life i am responsible and so whatever opportunity that comes it has to start with me creating it this is me this is my life i'm not waiting for the other person to create it for me and wherever i am i can create that life that i want you know everything you can create it by yourself it's a resolve the moment you have that shift of mind you are just about halfway through because then you become responsible you become conscious but if you if you think that somebody else is responsible for the opportunities and if you have wrong definition of what they call opportunities you will chase the shadow forever and so people are chasing shadows forever they are chasing uh, the next job position and they are thinking that that job somewhere will give them better opportunities and no you prove that you are ready for problems don't call it better opportunities because of the salary tag to it and that's what people call opportunities actually they think that okay I'm receiving 20,000 Ghana cities per year at this position uh, the other job is 100,000 uh, uh, Ghana per, per year and therefore if I get that job it means I have a better opportunity but what you are refusing to understand is that they will not just pay you 100,000 they are only you paying you more because they expect you to come and do more <laughs> and so if the, the place that you were which is 10,000 or 20,000 you're complaining of the job not of the salary even the, the job they are, they, you think that they're overusing you don't think that you're going anybody any serious-minded business person is going to give you hundred thousand and for you to just come down and sit and talk no if they are paying hundred thousand a year they will make sure that you work so if you don't want trouble and you don't you don't want any challenge then don't call it an opportunity because opportunities will come in trouble in challenges in more responsibilities it will take a lot of energy from you a lot of strength a lot of time a lot of resources that is opportunity so if he's not taking anything from you that is not an opportunity you are just living in your comfort you know and if you're living in your comfort it means that you're not getting ahead you're just you're just comfortable living the life that you want enjoying the life that you want <laughs> and if that is a vision that's fine but if you're ambitious then you see that you get frustrated you know because you want to do more you want to commit more so so what you you call opportunity will come in a form of challenges in the form of doing more in the form of uh, pushing more uh, more time you will work late you will, you will travel more you will do a lot they will, they will you will have to fight more you have to do a lot of lobbying because that is what is called opportunity you know so if you don't want those things then why are you praying for opportunities <laughs> because they will always come in the form of troubles 
you know so if you if for instance if you if you think that opportunities are blessings which is true and say you wanted to have a child now you have a child if you have a child now you know the troubles that you have created for yourself is another human being you're going to pay school fees a lot of other things that children have to you know it's a whole human life you have brought it's an opportunity it's a blessing it's an add-on but then it's come it's come with a whole lot of stress whole lot of trouble a whole lot of you doing more so every opportunity every growth that you will call it will come with a lot and so your shift of mind as to what you call opportunity is so important because they will always come in a form of duty in a form of in a form of labor you know and it calls for courage to step into opportunities and create opportunities it calls for persistence you know it calls for work it calls for service it's not for lazy people opportunities are not for lazy people it's call of duty or call to responsibilities you know so you have to redefine uh what you call opportunity my name is robin uh, today i'm share, sharing with you uh, uh, creating the opportunities that you want or you create the opportunities that you want you know it's you your responsibility and what you call opportunity is beyond just livelihood it's trying to make impact with your life you know and if you want to make impact with your life you're thinking of what you call opportunities to change so it's not just somebody has prepared some nice uh, place for you to come and enjoy and you call it responsible um, uh, opportunity no it's more it's, it's a matter it's a matter of fact it's work it's difficulty for instance if you start business your life is changed you have to work more you have to think more you you probably have employed two or three people now you have to think of their salary and if you have not paying if you have not paid them they will call you to insult you they will fight you that is it why because you attract you think that the business is an opportunity but this business is bringing these people who can insult you, come after you. Uh, you know, maybe if you're just you're, you're living your life anyhow, anywhere, nobody will threaten you with lawsuits or uh, labor issues or taxes and those things. Why? Because you're just living your life. Now you, you open this business, uh, you become conspicuous. People will come after you, you know. Now you are thinking of competition, you are thinking of uh, how to better your product, you are thinking of partnership issues, you are thinking of uh, uh, getting more money to, to grow your business, you are thinking of uh, op opening a new, a new office, you are thinking of putting up a new office, you know, you don't even have time, uh, you are thinking of taking another course so you can lead the, the team well. Yes, the business is an opportunity, but how, how, can, you, can you see how it has shifted the whole, your whole life, it's disrupted everything about you. Now it's no more about you. You don't even have time to think about yourself because you started that business. Why? Because now you have taken more responsibility. Even though the business is an opportunity for you to get uh, leverage in terms of finances, in terms of you trying to establish your influence as a person, but it has come with huge, huge, huge trouble. The other person who doesn't have any business and who works and they pay him is not troubled about the things that you are troubled, you know? And you are only troubled because you took the decision to create that opportunity, which is a business. And, and, and now you have created all kind of troubles for yourself. But that is how life is. If it's in your heart and if it's in your mind, if it's in your soul, you would want to go for more troubles because you grow out of the troubles. You grow. You grow. And as opportunities are created, you know, so let's say you are, you are a branch manager. Uh, you are dealing with just very few uh, customers and now they make you the country manager <laughs> they have they have caused problem for you you know it's opportunity but now it's coming with huge huge responsibilities now you can you can sleep you know you have to handle a lot of things and it's weight it's weight it's tough but that is how opportunities are created so your understanding of opportunity is very important and and for me i always uh, bring it down to say doing business and trying to create value or try, trying to uh, set goals for yourself you know those things they will come with a lot of challenges and yet the business is an opportunity that business that you have started is an opportunity so you shift your mind off the trouble if you think that the troubles are worrying you and why do people are worrying me and uh, <laughs> what you're doing is that you're cutting down the opportunities 
And so you change your mind on complaining on the troubles that are coming, on the challenges that are coming. The growth is coming. Growth is not comfortable. Growth is the process of growth is discomfortable or it's not comfortable. It's tough. So if you don't want to grow, don't don't seek any opportunity. Don't seek any opportunity. Don't don't turn something opportunity. Because the moment you terminate as opportunity, it's going to cause you a lot of uh, uh, discomfort. You know, the things that you would not ordinarily do, now you would have to do. You have to step outside your comfortable zone just because you have created another form of opportunity. You know, so there is always the power that you have to create the life that you want. And that power is, is resident in you. And it's a mind game. You, you, you just have to understand that opportunities are seen by the mind so you create them and if you have strategies of what kind of opportunities that you want to have and plan them put them down and 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 work on them and it will call for a lot of work it will call for courage it will call for persistence you know that this is how opportunities are created so don't don't wait somewhere thinking that somebody will work somewhere and just come and dump it on you and think that uh even if they give you a lot of money that is even you know, is another trouble because you maybe you're handling just hundred Ghana. Now somebody comes to give you one million Ghana. That's another trouble. <laughs> even even if it comes in the form of money. Now how do you keep this money safe? How do you how do you even prevent thieves from taking from you? Even though it's money, it's, it's it, and you think that's opportunity that even itself can also create problems uh, for you. You know, so life is a constant, uh, constant, constant growth and constant uh, uh, creation of opportunities. And that's how the human being is always in constant growth. You will never see any living organism which is stagnant, stagnant in growth. No, it's the process is continuous. The biological processes are continuous. Why? Because it's growth. And so you, can't even, you cannot even say that me, I don't want to go for it. I don't want to create any opportunity for myself. That's a lie. You're just de deceiving yourself. You know? and, and, and when people are talking like that, it's, 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 it's just coming out of fear. It's coming out of fear. Because every one of us would want to create some bit of name, some bit of influence over somebody. That's why even if you don't, you don't have anything and you just have a child, you want your child to succeed. That's an influence. You know, you want your child to succeed. That's an influence. So uh, uh, opportunities uh, 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 is, is, is in the nature of man to create something for himself, to grow, to become influential. You know, and but yet people think that becoming I mean growing and becoming influential will just come. No, they come in a form of responsibilities, they come in a form of duties, they come in the form of challenges, in the form of problems, in the form of service. You know. So if you don't understand those things as opportunities, then you will dodge them. They will miss you. Because when you meet the challenge, when you meet the problems, when you meet the service, you want to dodge. You know, and if you dodge, it means that you are not you don't understand what they call opportunities and you think that somebody should do all those things so that you uh, will come in and enjoy and wherever you are you are the opportunity that you are you are waiting for don't wait for another person you create it yourself at least the first link is your creation and then that will link will lead you to the next level and to the next level and to the next level so there's nothing like there's no opportunity here it's not true it's just laziness of mind that is present that's why you're saying that there's no opportunity here there's always an opportunity at your level. Always, always. Because there's always an opportunity to serve. There's an opportunity, opportunity to uh, 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 solve a problem. There's an opportunity to, to take up responsibilities. Always. You know, so if your mind says that there's no opportunity here and I have to travel to another country to get opportunity, you are just lazy. You have not developed your mind. Your interpretation of issues uh, is wrong. That's why I think that there's no opportunity here. There's always opportunity when you show up there's opportunity because you have shown up there and you have come up and you once you are there you will see problems so uh and if you see problems and you're, you don't have to complain about them what can you do to solve those problems and what 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 can you, what structure can you build around you solving those problems and that becomes a conduit uh, that you, you you create an opportunity you know and so uh it's it's a resolve personal resolve that uh Opportunities can always be created by you and can always be created by where you are, you know, and it's not the belief system that some people have created opportunities and therefore you go there to enjoy and you call that opportunity. And opportunity is always in a form of responsibility. 
it's in the form of duty it's in the form of challenges so if you are not mature if you're not ready for more troubles then don't call anything an opportunity because that which you think is so nice and the person is enjoying is coming with a lot of troubles you know and you, really that's how life is about life is about solving problems you know being uh, dutiful being responsible that's what life is about and, and the moment you grab that then then you become uh, you become stable because you know that if you want to go to the next stage it will call for opportunities and it will call and they come in a form of trouble you know so you create the life that you want and you develop that mindset you get you get to have your own strategy to create that life you want step by step at least for the next 12 months step by step so whatever aims that you've set for yourself uh, at least write some few things down if you're able to achieve 20 percent of them that's fantastic you have done well just because you wrote some things down you, you detail them as to how you're going to achieve them you know and the places that you don't understand you ask those who have done it and, and get information that is how so don't tell anybody that there's no opportunity here is never true opportunity is always at where you are always at where you are it's just a shift of mind if the people who have been trained to see good when you go to any area they're able to identify things they see good but if you have not trained your mind and like me i don't see good so if i'm if i'm with that person i will not see but that person will see some people come to our country and they see so many opportunities and then we are here we don't see why because of what we are looking for so what you're looking for will show what kind of opportunities that you see you know somebody comes here and they see ah all these uh, rubber bags and and rubber bottles everywhere wow what can i turn them into the person sees so much opportunity because he sees the debt he sees the waste somebody else sees the waste and he's calling and he's insulting the the the, the, the mayor or the president <laughs> you know and somebody else sees the waste and says, wow what can i turn this waste into it's, it's money it's opportunity you know so it's a mind play it's a mind play somebody else sees the what um you know, I, I, there are things that we see that we complain them about. Somebody else will see the same thing and say something different. Something different. And so it's not really where you are in terms of it's, it's who has come into that area and what they see. And that will mean whoever is creating the opportunity. You know, so because somebody's somebody's calling it as a mess, as a failure. Somebody is seeing it as an opportunity, you know, to create a whole business, a whole chain. So if you are coming from a background that you are just complaining, <laughs> you're only complaining, 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 you never see opportunities, and you think that somebody is a, somebody else is always responsible to, to to create the order, you will never see opportunity. Even at the workplace, you will never see, because whenever you see trouble, you think that somebody else is responsible. You don't you don't you don't jump into solving problems. It means you have a weak understanding of opportunities, you know, and you're just living a selfish life. A lot of people are like that, especially in GH. <laughs> you only talk about all the problems, all the problems, all the problems, all the problems. No one solution, you know. So it's a mind game. It's a mind game. So all the troubles that we see around us, they are all opportunities. They are all opportunities, and they are indeed business opportunities. Every troubles that you see around here, they are all business opportunities. All of them. A business opportunities all the ones that you hear that people are talking about somebody can build business around it and that's why when you go to countries that are organized it's because people have built businesses around all these problems so the waste is somebody's problem the water is somebody's problem the light is somebody's problem the tomato that is that is wasting on uh, the farm is somebody's problem business problem you know and so pe people are solving all kind of business problems and that's why the countries grow it's as simple as that and then countries that you see them uh, just wallowing in the same uh, trouble is because people are not seeing business problems you know they are not seeing business in the problems that come around them okay because the their mind is only worried to wait for somebody to come and solve the problem you know and they are worried to to run away from all the challenges and so uh, create your own opportunities and they are everywhere they are everywhere 
from the school to agriculture to waste to water uh, every one of it there's there's opportunity every one of it and whatever you can do to solve it there are systemic failures across board everywhere you can see even the ministers that are late you can create something and help them to get on time that's that's a business opportunity so there's always something that you can create and and get uh, and create value out of it and build business around it if you have developed that mind to see opportunities so wherever opportunities are you will always see or wherever problems are that's how uh, opportunities are created wherever problems are that's why opportunities are created they are the businesses are not created because people's mind cannot see the opportunities as coming in the form of problems you know so all of us if you don't have a job that's an opportunity <laughs> because that's a problem that you have to solve you know so that one becomes an opportunity right there you know so that's that's all that's it's all it's all opportunities are basically that and it's a mind 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 issue so the moment you shift your mind when we are running to america the uh, the, the chinese are running here why are they coming here that's a big question why why are they coming here even when we, we tell them to go they come back why you are seeing something you see a lot and they are not the ones on radio talking and complaining <laughs> they are not used to that <laughs> they want to work <laughs> so they want to go into galamse they want to go into any kind of thing if you leave them they will do anything they even drive the taxi why because they want to solve, they see, they see the opportunity, and that's it. My friend told me, hey, Ghana, you have so many radios. We are talking, 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 talking. So many uh, radio stations. I'm telling my Chinese friend, so many, so many. People, people why? In China, we have two, three. <laughs> and his consciousness, you, when he calls you, it's not, there's no even how are you. Where is the next business? That's why they have, they have tamed their mind. That's why they have grown their mind. So you, you give him job, he's not, he's not complaining. He's, he wants to finish and get his job and get his money that's the consciousness that they have developed that's why we go there to bring all these things that we bring from their country because they are not complaining they are solving problems uh, every one of them they are solving problems and once they are solving problems they are creating opportunities that's why they are producing all these products some of them good some of them bad but at least people are buying them you know so it's it's a thinking problem so if you don't see opportunity it doesn't mean the opportunities don't exist it only means that your ability to see is weak to see with your mind is weak you know and that's why your complaining voice is loud the moment your mind is working you stop complaining you see people complaining complaining accusing accusing and talking 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 because the mind is not working you see any group of people who are always complaining and talking and insulting their leaders and talking no it's because the mind is not working the moment their mind starts to work you see that their, their mind is busy they're always thinking, so they don't even have time to, to insult the other man at all because they, they are using properly, they are using that mind, you know. So that is how opportunities are see. It's a mind game, it's an exposure, it's a thinking, it's a shift. And so when you grow up in a bad environment where they are just complaining and problems are there, <laughs> you will capture that. But if you want to see opportunity, then you have to shift that, you know, you have to shift that and, and work with those who are seeing opportunities, who are seeing problems as a way to build businesses, to create solutions for society, to build better products, to build better services. And that's how opportunities are created, to become very good managers, very good employees, you know. Uh, that is how it is done. So if you just stop talking, 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 and complaining, 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 it's just a sign that your mind is not trained. So you can see rightly. You're just deceiving yourself that you're educated, but you are not. You just have a certificate. Because you can see solutions. You can see solutions. You can see solutions. You can see uh, uh, opportunities. You can solve problems. You just talk about them. It means that you're not educated. You just have a certificate, you know. And we have a lot of them. And so many. And so they will just call the AMA person, they will call this, they will call this. And and the same person, if they give him job in the workplace, he can't even he doesn't even do it. <laughs> and, he, and he's insulting the government official for nothing. 
anyway so uh, so my name is Robin Dalko I try to share with you uh, create the opportunities that you want don't let anybody create those opportunities for you because they will never uh, do it's your responsibility as a human being uh, to create opportunities yourself and that's why you have the power of will the power of decision you know and so you you you, you have to understand that opportunities are worth play what they call opportunity is a word play. Somebody is looking to go to America because he thinks that America is a land of opportunities. That's, that's deception. If you show up there, you see that you are that land, not America. And so you better resolve that before you go there. Or you'll be there only looking for job to job. And that is livelihood. That is not opportunity. You're just working to get something to eat and buy a car. And so you develop a plan against the opportunities that you want to create, you know, set up a plan, a workable plan, and you correct them as you get along, you know, and, and, and be patient and be persistent because problems are really the opportunities that you're looking for. You know, so the more you have problems around you, the problems around you, the problems around you, the, the waste, all the, those things that run you, and you start to think, you will create that opportunity with those problems that you see around you. And so you shift that mind and you work hard you work hard you work hard because work is how you create your opportunities you serve people with passion diligently with your gift so whatever you're doing that opportunity will be created by you working diligently with that passion that you have with that gift that you have with that skill that you have with the, with the expertise that you have you work on them and that's how we try to do all the time you know we work passionately with our gift with our passion with, with our skill, with our talent, we try to do whatever we have to do, and we continue to do it all the time because that—that that is the magic. That—that—that that, that really is the magic. That really is opportunity. You being being stable, being diligent, being consistent, and being stay, uh, staying at it, and that's how people get uh, more opportunities open uh, for them. It's in the work, it's in the service, it's in the diligence. You know, it's not something else. It's in the diligence, and uh, and in your first step, you need some bit of courage. To, to push and to go and to go and I think that these are the information that uh, these are the kind of information that people need that you are the one that you are waiting for you are responsible for the opportunities that you create and so don't wish that somebody else will help you create something that will never happen you've been waiting for that for 20 years it's not happening what makes you think that it will happen because it's you that's why you have the power to choose that's why if you have will you have, that's why you can say no or yes you know and that's how you create your own opportunities and 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 for me that's how life is and that's why i cannot blame the other person if the other person is successful or if the other person is uh, successful it doesn't mean that he should help me and if he doesn't help you you know you still have, you also have power to create that life for yourself you know so uh, that's it so that is the interpretation so you create that opportunity yourself and in that case you don't become agitated or, or jealous or, or competitive because your friend is succeeding because then you can also succeed if you have that change of mind and create the ones that you want and you don't sit in the house waiting for visa to travel to go to uh, Saudi Arabia before you think that you have an opportunity that's a loser's mind loser's mind is waiting for uh, American visa to go before they do anything with their life you're a loser because your life and because time is going you solve the problems yourself here you know and you don't believe that somebody some country is is of opportunity and your country is of a case that's not true because you have problems here and opportunities come in the form of problems so wherever you see problems that is where you see opportunities you know so there are basic basic things that if you correct them you see that life is not as as bizarre as you may think it is it's just play of words it's just shift of mind you just you not under, not understanding some few things uh, yourself so you, it's just confusion you know you have met people who felt that ah uh, when i moved right here uh, there was a lot of opportunity that's a lie you just had a job man just had a job the one that you're doing you with your heart with, and making impact and changing lives and bringing value to society you would create that one you will create that one and you will fight for that one you will solve you will prove yourself to get those things you know and so uh that is what i've got to share hey abi thank you for watching uh mohammed thank you doris uh, thank you uh peter thank you 
for watching. Uh, so that is what I have got to share with you that you resolve it. None of us is disadvantaged. Just thank him. So once you change your mind, you can change your life. And life is that opportunity. And problems that are thrown at you really are coming in the form of opportunities. And that's how you prove the relevance of your life. And that's how you prove your efficiency in life. So never run from the challenges and the responsibilities. If you run from them, you're running from the opportunities. And so thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Good night.